Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this technology page here you can see that it is complete and now in this lecture we are gonna start building this pricing page in which first of all we will build this page, this side, this section have the width 33% and it have the width 66%, 50% is given to this div, this list, 50% is for this list. So now let's start. Here what we need to do, we have to create a new page, then save it as pricing.html, here is and here is pricing.html, pricing.html, here it is and now here I'm gonna copy the code here we also need these two things section and that this div who have the row class and the content background and now place it here and then here I'm also gonna copy the code of the footer and the closing tags of the section and that div here it is and now place it here And now here it is, the footer is start from this and here is the section and here is the header and now I'm gonna adjust the menu here I'm gonna remove this from this and paste it here and here we have to write pricing.html dot html and I'm gonna copy it and then paste it in the other pages here it is in the technology and then in the products here it is and then here it is so now let's reload it and here is the pricing page is created and now we have to create a div that's name is wrapper and it contain the both section this section and this section so now let's start and here first of all we have to made a div and it contain the both sections here is give it the class wrapper here is the class and here is the div and then here is the section first section and then here is the class and here I'm gonna give adjust 333% width and here is the section and now here in between this I'm gonna place the another div that is wrap cool here is the wrap cool and then here is its closing tag and now this section in this section first of all I'm gonna put the heading h2 here is the h2 and here I'm gonna write do you know and now let's execute it this section we are gonna build this section here I'm gonna copy this text because we need it and now here it is created and now let's do the next thing now we have to paste the paragraph I have copied that paragraph here is the paragraph give it the class p1 here is the closing tag and here is the strong and now here I'm gonna give the style to the strong text I'm gonna change its color 
so here I'm going to give it the class str2 let's render it and here it is and now after this we have to place this image and then this text so here I'm gonna copy the text we need it and now we have to paste the image here we have to include the image here I'm gonna write img img src here is it images and here is the page 4 and here is the image 1.jpg and here is the class here is the image indent bot indent bot and now here I'm gonna paste these paragraphs these paragraphs are not copied so now I'm gonna copy it and paste it here so now the first paragraph here is the first paragraph I'm gonna enclose this paragraph here and give it the class p1 to create the padding on its bottom side to create the distance between the paragraphs here is the closing tag of the paragraph and then here is another paragraph and here is its class p1 and here is hr border 1 and here is the closing tag of the paragraph and now let's go and check it how it look like and so the image is inserted here is the paragraph and all the things and now here after this we have to place this link so I'm gonna copy its code from here and here is the read more code here is copy it and now here after the paragraph we have to place it here it is and now here we have to change its color and now here I'm gonna explain all of this this p1 create the padding on the bottom side here you see that and then this hr border one create the border bottom and this p1 also create the padding on the bottom side here it is and this image intent bot creates the margin on the bottom and the top side and then this str2 is just used for changing its color and i'm gonna give that style and p1 is just for creating the padding on the bottom side so now here I'm going to use the str2 here it is use it here color here is we have to give hash b09609 and it is orange type color and here it is and now here I want to tell you another thing when in the technology here we have not provide the style for the str1 I have remind this thing now so now we are gonna give the style to this string1 str1 we have give the class to this text and here I'm gonna define the style for it str1 and here I'm gonna give the font weight normal normal and then the text transform to the uppercase uppercase and here it is now I'm gonna create the second part here it have the 66% width total 
fifty percent that is the thirty three percent is given to this thirty three percent is given to this so now let's create it here in the pricing after this section closing tag this is the closing tag of this section and here I'm gonna create the next section here is create the section here it is and here is its closing tag and now here is the adjust for that have the 66 percent weight and here is the div class wrap goal here is the wrap goal and here is the div and now first of all here I'm gonna create the heading h2 and here is the closing tag of the h2 our prices and now let's execute it here it is and now here I'm gonna make it small then it will be okay and now after this I'm gonna create another div and now this whole area have the width 66 percent so now I'm gonna create a div that contain only this list and it have the width only 33 percent is given to it 33 percent is given to it and now here I'm gonna use adjust 3 here is the adjust 3 here we have to remove it first of all right div and here is the class and here is the adjust 3 and here is the closing tag of the div and here is the wrap call and here is the div and then in between this I'm gonna create the first list that is here and then here it is price list and then here it is the UL and now in between this list first of all we are gonna make a list item and in that list item background we will put this image this arrow and then we will make a and we will put a span and in that span we will put this anchor tag and then we will give it floor to the left and then we will create the price and then we will give it give it floor to the right and then we will give a span and in the background of the span we will give this image and it have the repeat property so that this dot image is repeat so now here I'm gonna create the ally here it is and now here I'm gonna give the anchor tag here it is and here is the closing tag hyper reference and now here I'm gonna add a space and now here we have also need to give a class to the anchor tag because we have to give the style to the anchor tag when we take the mouse over it so its color is going to be changed here I'm gonna write milk water here is the water and this is the anchor tag this is the tags shown on the screen and here after this we have to give this price in the span here I'm gonna copy it and here I'm gonna give it in the span here is the span and here is the closing tag of the span here it is and then here we have to give the class and here is the price 
and then here I'm gonna give another thing that is a span in the background of that span we will give this dot image this this is an image this dot is an image and here I'm gonna give that span here is the span and here I'm gonna give it the class filler here is the class name is filler filler and now here I'm gonna execute it but now here are two things are present I'm gonna give it the style by using the price list price item then it will be okay here it is and now let's start here it is first of all give the style to the price list here it is and now here I'm gonna give the style to the list item of the price list and here is the overflow is hidden and then here is the font size is the font size is 14 pixel and here I'm go also gonna give it the line height the line height is 18 pixel and here is the padding the padding is 0 pixel for the top left 12 pixel for the bottom and 14 pixel for the right side and now let's execute it we have to save it and now let's watch it so here a little distance is added and now here we have also need to add the background here is the background is URL here it is here is images and here is the list one here is the list one marker that is the arrow and arrow is going to be represent here is the no repeat and then zero and then the five pixel for the y axis and here it is in my next lecture I'm gonna give the style to the price item to this anchor tag and all the things and I will put this image in the center the dotted image so thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next video